Hello and welcome back Buck Hole viewers. Uh, my name is David and in this episode I will be installing the Barnett crossbow crank on my father-in-law's uh, Barnett recruit crossbow. Um, I'll try to give you any tips and techniques and any tricks I can while I go. So stay tuned and I hope you guys find this helpful. And so important. once we get going, what you're gonna wanna do, uh, first thing is in the back of the bow stock, let's see if I can get a little bit better for you. Um, I already took them out to prepare. Uh, this one right here and this one right here are these two caps right here. Those pop out really simple with a screwdriver. Uh, the tricky ones are the round ones right here. Uh, let's see if I can get a decent picture of it for you guys on there so you can kind of see. Uh, they lock together with a top and a bottom lock to them. What I found is sticking an Allen in there and kind of prying around and wiggling them a little bit finally popped them loose. Uh, it's just kind of a trial and error. It's a little frustrating. I didn't find an easy way to do it, but figured it out eventually. Um, after you're done doing that, uh, lay out your crossbow string. Um, you want to have it smooth and laid out. You want the hooks to be down towards the cable on your string when it rides on the track here and then you want no kinks twists anything like that in your line on the way back and then you want to make sure your back two pieces that the part where the cord goes in lines up so uh, I'm doing it with it facing this way so you guys can see from this side uh, inside of here when you get it there is an allen bolt uh, you'll need to pull that allen bolt out and then this splits apart. That's the first thing that it says to put into the actual crank and then you have to line up those four pins in there. Uh, make sure when you put it in you line it up that you're checking positive that both of your two strings are lined up the way they're supposed to. And then get your Allen bolt in and tighten it down snugly. About as snugly as you can getting onto this from here. Okay, once you've got that done, um, just to make it so that I can get these cables lined up, I'm going to put the latch on the crank there to just kind of line it up. Let me see exactly how I'm doing and to get these lined up. Next, you want to put your two pins in that hold your back parts together and you want these nice and tight and snug and then you're going to take the allen wrench or the allen bolt for that one and I have a feeling I already have that one in the wrong side yep that's the threaded side so this one goes in from the back side actually if you're facing it this way if you're not facing it this way it actually goes in the other side But we'll get that there. I want to get those, I want to hold these two strings nice and tight and forward so they stay in about the same position when I tighten it down. And I want to tighten this down snug and secure so that these two anchor points in the back stay nice and secure. But make sure that your two little prongs aren't moving too much. Um, you want a little bit of a little bit of free float in them just to be able to move and maneuver um, Not too much to let it actually like work your bolt back out so Get it snug um, if you got to check it a couple times try not to over tighten it But make sure it's good and snug so that this stays where it's supposed to now if you look at this what I can do is I can start cranking this back in like this and it'll allow me to suck up some of that extra play that's in there. Um, I believe for the Barnett, it said that it wants that on top. Um, you can feel it kind of putting some pressure on it and keeping it in line. So the next step, you get um, 
a piece that's like this right here. This is the pin that locks into the crank. There's a gear on the crank and this will engage the crank. That goes on the side in which you have your in which you have your crank on. That goes on the crank side of it. Um, and which should match up to the gear side of it. Um, I did forget to mention that there is a bushing in there and the bronze bushing that's in there or the copper bushing that's in there, I don't know exactly which one it is, um, is what it will ride on when you're working with it. And then get these in here, get these finger tight. I'm gonna probably pause you guys just because these little ones are kind of hard to work with on the fingers. But you just get them in there and you start getting them finger tight and then you gotta tighten them up. Uh, put you on pause for a bit and bring it okay. back. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, when you get the package, there's usually, um, at least in this case, there was three sets of screws. There was a set that came in it and then I got two other packages that came with it as well with different size Allen screws in them. Uh, for the recruit, and those of you guys that are doing the recruit, I can tell you right now, uh, the middle size screw is actually the correct screw. Um, I took the long ones, I put them in, and they bottomed out with not much room left to go, but they had a little bit of room and it was still loose and wiggling. So I had to pull them out and I had to put the second longest screw in. So that's a little tip for you guys. Um, it, your mileage will vary. You're gonna have to figure out which one's the best for you for your particular bow. Okay, so I have those installed. Um, I'll show you guys right here. Um, that's the basic installation. I've turned it just a little bit to tighten it down. But there's the plate that holds the backside in, like I was telling you. Um, like I said, I had to shorten those screws up, go with the shorter screws. On the side is the latch that controls whether or not you're going to have a positive lockup or not. Um, so when you start cranking it, this is what locks it in place and holds the pressure on it while you're cranking it if you were hand were to slip or something like that. This little thing right here is what's supposed to hold it. Um, they include this little piece. I don't know on the other bows if it's got a little bit more functionality to it, if the stocks are a little thicker, if it fits a little better and stays in place. But it looks like it's supposed to cover up this little latch, which it might do, but I can honestly see this getting bumped and falling off in the woods really easily. So more likely than not, you're going to end up with just this if you have at least the recruit bow. Um, from here, all you have to do is take, a crank hand take the crank handle and you just start screwing it in. And while you're screwing it in, uh, you just line up two of the pins. So your handle's, cr or your handle's tight. And then from there, you just start cranking. And let me go like that so I can. And it's always nervous, the nerve wracking the first time you try out a new part. <laughs> you wanna make sure it works. And I should probably be doing this properly. Uh, let me put it on the floor and crank it the way that I'm supposed to. I can hear a little bit of noise in there. And the concerning part about that for me is I'm going to probably go back and I'm going to probably grab some lithium grease. Um, once this is locked in all the way to the back, and you hear it click in like you would if you were pulling it by hand. Uh, you can back off that pin and then you let down slowly on the carriage and that'll come back into place. You pull it out and you keep unwinding it until, until you have enough of it forward. I really don't I'm not a big fan of how much my fingers are in the way in the process of trying to get this worked out. But once you get that backed off, then you move your crank out of the way like you would normally. And you definitely gotta keep track of it and make sure that when you put it back in place that 
you actually get it lined up properly because it looks like the cables have a tendency to want to come out if you don't keep it lined up when you go to recrank it to store it. So I will play around with it a little bit more and give you a little bit more feedback and tips on how to do what you need to do with it once I'm done figuring it out a little better myself. So stay tuned and we'll okay. see how it goes. So some things learned from this. Uh, you never can let the bow down with the crank so you're definitely gonna have to shoot it after it's cranked just a heads up before you get that far um, the recruit has a little notch in the back to store this I did have the lines tangled up here a reasonable amount so what I did to remedy that was I took the bolt out of the front post that holds the front pivot point in place and I turned around I untangled the lines completely and then I put them back in so hopefully that should 100% remedy that issue um, from there um, I think that's about it really there is a couple little caps that go in these pillar posts that will pop in once we kind of fine-tune it um, you also are going to want to move the crank around a little bit to fine-tune where the crank is in the final position uh, it was originally literally right in front of the safety so we moved it down uh, 90 degrees and that moved it kind of out of the way uh, otherwise you're gonna have it sitting in your shoulder or sticking up in the air by your head um, so that's kind of an ergonomics thing of it not the end-all be-all but not a terribly bad thing either um, from there that's about it uh, I don't know. For me, it's a horse apiece either way. If you have the crank on or not, um, you got to put a little more effort into it, and then you got to pack your you got to pack your crank away if you use the rope system. Uh, if you're using the crank, uh, one thing I would recommend after cranking it the first time, if you can find it, put some lithium grease on that bearing. Uh, that copper bearing in there definitely would probably benefit from lithium grease, and it probably wouldn't make as much noise. Um, you don't want to give away your location when hunting, so completely makes sense. So. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, ask any questions. If I can try to answer them for you, I'll try to answer them for you. But that was my first time ever doing it. Uh, not terrible. Uh, start to finish took me about an hour roughly. So hopefully you guys like it. And like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.